We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Welcome back, Bikes. I'm Emery. I got to talk to Mrs. Sheree about the free athletic passes. Let's see what she had to say. Hey, Bikes. I'm here with Mrs. Sheree, and she's going to talk to us about the free athletic pass. So who qualifies for the free athletic pass? Students that qualify for free and reduced lunches can pick up an athletic pass. Where can they pick the pass up? They can stop by the athletic office here, and I can um, get that for them. Is there anything else you'd like to add? They're good for all the home events, and if there's a state uh, tournament, it may not qualify, but there'll be a note that says no passes accepted, but otherwise they're good for all the home events. All right. Thanks, Mr. Sheree. Now back to your anchors. What a great way to get into the games for free. Now, let's get into your daily news. The Vikings Brew is up, up and running all week from 7.15 to 7.50. If you're interested in traveling to Boston or New York this year, come to the library on September 7th at 6 p.m. If you have not purchased a parking permit, you need to do so. You have, if you have any questions, go to the security office. A representative from the Kansas City Art Institute will be presenting about their school next Wednesday. If you're interested in going, go to Mr. LeDuc's room. If you're taking a class for Washburn Dual Credit, you need to have your enrollment sheet turned into the front office before tomorrow. If you need help, see Mr. Alexander. The speed limit in the parking lots is 10, p 10 miles per hour. The sheriff's office will be running radar on the school zone area as well. Please follow the speed limit. If you like to draw, join the like-minded arts once a month for the Seaman Art Club monthly life drawing nights. They are in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Their first meeting is next Tuesday. This Friday, volleyball, soccer, and boys cross country teams will have their scrimmages. Volleyball is in the main gym, soccer will scrimmage on the new field, and boys cross country presents their time trial at the stadium. Donations are at the Topeka Rescue Mission will be accepted. If you are interested in the 2020 softball program, please attend an informational meeting on Friday in room 902. Now over to Josh with your, the weather. And then I said to her, no, your hands are small. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Anyway, boy, do we should have an action-packed day August 30th. How so, Chase? There's a volleyball scrimmage from 3.30 to 4.45. There is a boys soccer scrimmage from 5 o'clock to 5.40. The boys cross country, red, white, and blue team time trials are from 5.50 to 6.20. Woo! Good afternoon to you. The cold front we were tracking all the way back late last week has passed through and today much lower humidity and cooler temperatures. So now we go live outside to our reporter, Kay Anderson, to give us an update. Not going to lie, Josh, I am very blinded out here. It is incredibly bright. Otherwise, there is a little bit of a breeze and it is very nice outside. So if you have any sports after school, it's a great day to be a Viking. All right, thanks for that report, and for the most part, that's how the weather is going to be remaining for the rest of today, but I do want to just throw this out there as a disclaimer. Notice these little green specks on the map at around 7 o'clock. That's about a 10% chance of an isolated shower. I don't think it's going to rain, but just to say that it might if we happen to get under one of those little teeny tiny showers. Okay, that's later today. Then a much better chance of rain moves in starting late Thursday night, continuing through Friday into Saturday morning. It will not be raining that entire time, but some scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible, especially across the eastern portions of the state and over into Missouri. So that's what we're tracking for the end of the week and the start of your Labor Day weekend. Locally, the weather not going to get too wild, but we are tracking this tropical storm Dorian across the Atlantic, and that is moving its way toward Florida. Eventually, we're about five days away, but we could see a landfalling tropical storm or hurricane here. We will be keeping an eye on that 
over the next few days. And checking out the seven day forecast back at home, you can see we are looking at cool temperatures continuing for the next seven days. Highs in the upper 70s to middle 80s. There come the storms Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. But I do want to focus in before we get there on Wednesday because it is just going to be a glorious day, not a cloud in the sky is what I'm predicting for Wednesday. All right, enjoy the next seven days. Emery, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.